Thank you so much for letting me wear this beautiful gown and jewelry. I promise I'll be careful, okay? <laughs> Just relax. I got plenty more where that came from. Hmm. In fact, why don't you just keep everything that you have on? Um, I can't do that. Why not? You're my best friend. And you're my best friend, but I don't want to start, you know, getting used to things that I can't have. <laughs> and neither should you. I am Mrs. Julian Crane, okay? A court said so. Even Alistair has given me a job at Crane Industries. I I'm, not, I'm not just talking about the jewelry and the clothes and everything. I'm talking about Ethan. I mean, you still keep trying to get him back after he's already told you a zillion times that he doesn't want to be with you. No, Whitney. See, in Ethan's heart, he still loves me, which means I can still get him back. How can you keep putting yourself through this? I mean, my God, you were almost executed. Which showed Ethan that I love him enough to die for him. And I pay to see Gwen top that. You know, sometimes I wish you'd never met Ethan. That you never took that job here working for his mother. That way your life, not to mention mine, would be so much happier. If I had never met Ethan, I never would have had my baby. My wonderful little Ethan. Are you telling me that Ethan is really your baby's father? Are you telling me that Ethan is really your baby's father? No, Whitney. Julian is. What I meant was that if I had never met Ethan got involved with him, I never would have gone down to Bermuda to talk Julian into taking him back as a crane. Julian never would have gotten me drunk and got me pregnant. And I never would have had my beautiful little boy. You know, you should really donate your brain to science because the way it works is beyond belief. What's beyond belief is you saying that my life would be better if I had never met Ethan. I love him, Whitney. I have loved him since I was a kid. I mean, don't you remember that, that picture that Mama had of Ethan and me playing together when our family lived in Sheridan's cottage? But see, that was a little girl crush on a little boy. And your refusal to give that up has caused you nothing but grief. Okay, yeah, you may have expensive clothes and jewelry and be living here in the Crane Mansion, but what price did you pay? What did you do to all those people who loved you? And the capper is, you still don't even have Ethan. I mean, really think about it, Teresa. Is, is all of this really worth it? <laughs> if you'd have never met Ethan, if you'd have met someone else, fallen madly in love and gotten married. Ethan would have married Gwen and the two of you would be living happy lives. You don't know that, Whitney. I know as it stands right now, both you and Ethan are hurting because of all the things that you've done. You know, and in some ways, I think Ethan has suffered the most. If he had never met you, it may never have come out that he wasn't a crane. He might still be living here as Julian and Ivy's son, still next in line to head the crane empire one. I cannot believe that you think it would have been better if Ethan had never come into my life. Teresa, I'm not trying to hurt you. I love you. You're my best friend. And all I want, all I've ever wanted is for you to be happy. And I don't think you can ever be happy as long as you keep holding on to this hope of having a future with Ethan. So you're afraid that I'm setting myself to be hurt again. Don't you see that if I give up on Ethan, that would hurt more than anything? But Ethan doesn't what? want to be with you. Would you give up on Chad? And Chad, okay. Answer the question. Would you give up Chad? No. But you're mixing apples and oranges. <laughs> okay, maybe. But what if Chad... You never met him. Never fell in love with him. You wouldn't be keeping such a huge secret from your sister. And feeling guilty about hurting her if she finds out. Then I wouldn't have the happiness that I feel when I'm with him either. Thanks for making my point. 
See, if I never met Ethan, I wouldn't have the happiness that I felt with him either. That's why I can't let him go. I want to hold on to that happiness forever. <laughs>